Tesla is currently the world's most valuable automobile maker. As a result of their popularity, they are in high demand. This necessitates the construction of massive gigafactories in extremely short timescales. But how do they do it? How does Musk manage to set up an entire factory at rocket speed? Keep watching to find out. Tesla purchased its first facility from automotive behemoth General Motors just 11 years ago. Since then, EV manufacturers have developed and perfected their gigafactories, resulting in an exceptionally smooth manufacturing process. The factories themselves are built in astonishingly short periods of time, challenging what many conventional builders believe is possible. Tesla gigafactories are engineering marvels that rank among the most high-tech enterprises in the world. With a startling quantity of automated operations, the real human manpower of these factories is far smaller than expected. Because so many machines have replaced human activities, it's significantly easier to set up production lines than it is in conventional factories. With Shanghai and Berlin now joining the two American plants, Shanghai in particular was developed at breakneck pace. In less than a year, the manufacturing factory progressed from a raw plot of ground to the creation of its first items. Part of Tesla's amazing speed can be attributed to the building block type method. With a defined blueprint for their factories, they can easily repeat it over and over again, nearly independent of location. They know exactly how much space, machinery, and supporting infrastructure are required. Another factor that contributes to the speed with which the structures are constructed is the manner in which the construction crews operate. Instead of completing one operation before moving on to the next, the contractors work in a predetermined order, guaranteeing that there is no downtime between stages of construction. Tesla saves time by sending ready-made panels, roofs, and walls to the site, which means they can be slotted into place where needed. Tesla's approaches, however, are not without danger. When Giga Berlin was still under development, despite just receiving preliminary clearance and had not yet obtained final approval, if this had been refused, Tesla may be forced to demolish the entire structure. With Elon Musk's goal of having a production facility on every inhabited continent, Tesla will have plenty of time to develop and fine-tune its process even more. Tesla Inc. had begun manufacturing in China in 2020, taking a significant step forward in Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk's global campaign for electric vehicle dominance and signaling what may be the beginning of meaningful competition in the world's largest EV market. Musk presided over a ceremony on Tuesday at a new multi-billion dollar facility in Shanghai, the American company's first outside the United States. When it handed over the first China-made Model 3 sedan to the public, the first of which was a white sedan, going to a guy from the adjacent city of Wuxi. Deliveries technically began, but just to staff. The Chinese facility, which was built in record time as it rushed through permissions and construction, is a cornerstone of Musk's aspiration to transform Tesla into a genuinely global automaker. In November 2020, the business announced intentions to establish a facility in the heart of Germany's automotive industry to meet Europe's growing demand for electric vehicles. Local manufacturer might help Musk capitalize on the company's recent momentum in the nation, which is also the world's largest market for standard gas guzzlers. Tesla is rushing into China with pricing that aren't much higher than those of local manufacturers like Neo Inc. and Xpeng Motors, while undercutting global big shots like BMW AG. Musk also unveiled the Model Y crossover for the Chinese market, predicting that demand for the car will likely eclipse demand for all of Tesla's other models combined. Other ambitions include establishing a design and engineering facility in China so that Tesla may someday create a completely new automobile from there, he added. The China plan is now building more than 1,000 cars each week and plans to triple that rate over the years, according to Song Gang, the facility's production director, on December 30, 2020. After the first phase of the factory was completed, the company planned to ramp up production to 150,000 Model 3 vehicles per year, or about 3,000 per week, and the company planned on increasing production capacity to 500,000 per year after the second phase, though it's unclear when Tesla expects to achieve these goals. Musk's charm attack in China has appeared to pay off. The China facility, which began as a muddy track around a 90-minute drive from Shanghai city center, has been running swiftly since it broke ground in early 2019. Tesla's gigafactory outside Reno, Nevada, took twice as long to start producing batteries. In China, Tesla has been winning various concessions from local authorities, ranging from approvals to preferential loans, and trade wars between China and U.S. makes this all the more notable. Among the dignitaries present that day were Mayor Ying Yang and Zhu Zhishang, Deputy Secretary General of the Shanghai Municipal Administration. During the ceremony, Vice Mayor Wu Qing stated that no foreign firm has invested in a larger industrial plan in the country. Furthermore, the locally produced automobile was listed in December 2020 on a list of cars eligible for a 10% purchase tax exemption in China. In addition, it was eligible for a government subsidy of 24,750 yuan, or $3,560 per car. Subsidies have assisted Tesla in lowering pricing, with the firm saying that will slash the beginning price of the Model 3 by 9% to 323,800 yuan before subsidies, and down to 299,050 yuan after subsidies. 
prices may fall even more, according to sources familiar with the situation, who say Tesla is exploring decreasing the price of the cars even further by using more local components and reducing expenses. According to Song, the manufacturing director, about 30% of the parts used by the Shanghai factory are presently obtained locally, and the businesses want to boost that to 100%. These costs bring Tesla closer to Chinese EV vehicles, such as China's Xpeng Motors' newest P7 sedan, which begins at 240,000 yuan. The pricing of NIO's SUV starts at 358,000 yuan, which does not include incentives. Musk's flagship company, named after famed inventor Nikola Tesla, who died 79 years ago, will now need to avoid a repeat of problems it encountered in its original car factory in California, where the company went through months of what Musk referred to as production hell, as it ramped up Model 3 production. After constantly falling short of the CEO's lofty goals, the electric car manufacturer burned through billions of dollars and was just weeks away from bankruptcy. Tesla shares have been on a roll recently. The manufacturer is on much firmer ground now that it's ironed out the problems that hampered Model 3 manufacturing and is outpacing sales of several other automakers' electric vehicles in the United States. Audi, a division of Volkswagen AG, intends to launch nine new energy vehicle types in China over the next two years, with more than half of them being full battery electric vehicles. The e-tron, the first electric vehicle, launched in November 2020 with a starting price of around 693,000 yuan. Mercedes-Benz launched the EQC in October 2020 with a starting price of 580,000 yuan. BMW intends to begin production of the iX3 crossover in China next year, and it's collaborating with a Chinese partner to electrify the Mini model. By the end of last year, Tesla was clearing the remaining barriers before launching its enormous German Gigafactory in the new year. The Berlin-Brandenburg facility has been under construction for almost two years, and while the investment and job creation has been lauded by many, including the mayor of neighboring Grunheide, its construction has been hampered by a number of local conflicts and oppositions. Tesla unveiled plans for its first Gigafactory in Europe outside Berlin to open in late 2019, right on the doorsteps of Germany's conventional car industry behemoths Volkswagen and Daimler. Despite the pandemic setbacks, Tesla pressed forward with construction rapidly, but it has faced local obstacles and red tape since the first brick was laid. However, the plan has gained widespread support as a benefit to the local economy and job creation, with up to 40,000 employment expected to be produced in the following years. Grunheide's mayor early described it as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to boost the local economy. Ross Gerber, CEO of Gerber Kawasaki, an investor in Tesla, told CNBC that he's unconcerned about the challenges it has experienced. Recently, efforts to expand the facility's scope to include battery cell manufacture have sparked considerable controversy. An internal assessment issued during the summer spoke of possible accident risks at the site. Meanwhile, local environmental regulators penalized the firm for building infractions. Many others have expressed worries about its possible environmental impacts, with water supplies being a regular source of contention. Musk dismissed the matter in October, claiming that there are plenty of water supplies in the area. Elsewhere, Tesla has been sued for the number of trees chopped down surrounding the German building site, and environmentalists have raised worry about the impact on native wildlife, like sand lizards. The impact of the German manufacturing will be slow but important. If Tesla develops new models with the European market in mind, the Berlin site will be crucial for those efforts. The competition for automotive and tech skills for the facility will be fierce, as rivals such as Volkswagen press ahead with their own EV production ambitions in Wolfsburg. Are you excited to see what Elon Musk's next move is going to be? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And don't forget to like the video. And if you're new here, subscribe to our channel for more updates.